In honor of Burger Month, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to sous vide some hamburgers. The process is pretty simple, but the first thing I'll do is season my patties with some salt and pepper and then get them into my vacuum seal bag. I just season liberally like I normally would any other hamburger. And I have my vacuum bag already cut to size. I folded the lip of the bag over just to make sure I don't get any meat on there because I don't want to contaminate that edge and then not be able to get a good seal. In order to not compact these burgers too much, I'm going to change my, the speed of my vacuum sealer to gentle. Uh, if you don't have an adjustable vacuum sealer, you can still adjust the way you do this by not sealing it or not letting it vacuum fully. What I'll do is I'll hit the vacuum and seal button and as soon as it's compressed and fairly tight on these burgers, then I'll immediately hit the seal and it'll stop vacuuming and just seal the bag. That way it doesn't take all the air out and make them too dense. So here we go. We'll just hit vacuum and seal. And done. That's all I want, just to pull the immediate air out of there so they don't float, but I don't want them too compact. And you can also do this in a Ziploc bag if you don't have the vacuum sealer. You just wanna make sure you press all the air out of that Ziploc bag. Now I'll get these burgers into my water bath that I have set to 136. And I'll cook them for two hours. The reason I'm cooking them at 136 is because it will low temperature pasteurize these burgers while keeping them a perfect medium rare. Now that I've pulled these out of the bag, um, I've allowed them to dry a little bit, bought them with a paper towel because I want a very dry exterior. I got my pan just ripping hot. You can see it's starting to smoke. Now we're going to apply the sear. So I'm just going to put a little uh, canola oil or any other high heat oil in the middle of the pan. And we're just going to sear the exterior of these. So these burgers are fully cooked. And I'm just trying to apply a sear because they really don't look as appealing without getting this final sear on them. Plus there's so much flavor in the sear, it's really important to get a good crust on there. But the burgers are perfectly cooked as they are, so we don't want to cook them too long on the stove top. Just get a little crust going. And I'll lightly press down, not trying to press the juices out, just trying to make sure there's good contact with the pan. I've allowed these to cook for about a minute on that first side and I saw a nice crust was developing. So we'll give them a quick flip and then we'll top them with cheese. Again, I'm going to press gently on them just to adhere them to the pan a little bit, get a crust. Top them with the cheese and allow this to melt. Once that cheese is melted, you got a crust on the bottom. We'll go onto our hamburger buns and be ready to eat these. Here I've got my toasted hamburger buns topped with a little bit of my special sauce, just keeping it kind of simple. And there you go. Sous vide burgers. They're a little work on the front end, but to finish, they're quick and easy and they'll be a perfect medium rare.